I, I love that. Uh, I think she would do a great job running your company. Yeah. I don't know what she what you do after she shit canned you because she <laughs> would. She would fire your ass in a hot second. And then Actually, let's be, be clear. <laughs> let's be clear. All these women we're about to mention would probably fire Kirby and I as yeah. the first order of business. woman hear me roar and that's how we're going to start off this very special edition of the promo front podcast episode number 195 if you're keeping score at home i'm one of your hosts bill petrie with me as always let's call him the warrior of woman himself the one and only kirby hossaman kirby how the female are you <laughs> Uh, I'm doing well. I was wondering the song you were going to sing to to open this up. Uh, always look forward yeah. to doing this particular episode. It's the the most homework I do. You're you're usually the the man of preparation when it comes to this podcast, and I uh, usually just show up. But but this is the one that I do actually spend some time on, and so I'm really excited to dive into the powerhouse women in promo. So. How yes, it's our annual. I'm doing great. It is our annual Powerhouse Woman of Promo podcast. It's something I think we started about five years ago, maybe six. I can't recall. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll get into the reason why here in a few minutes. But it is absolutely uh, number. It's easily our most listened to podcast yeah. here. It's also the most fun to do, even mm -hmm. though it is the most work. But uh, before we get to the Powerhouse Woman of Promo, Kirby, I was thinking about this the other day. I don't know about you. But when companies promise one thing and deliver something dramatically different, honestly, it stresses me out. You know what I'm talking about. Suppliers out there promising this and promising that, but falling way short of those commitments. Now, I don't know about you, Kirby, but don't you think it's time distributors were able to work with a supplier that delivered on their promises that made you look like a superhero to your clients? 100%, brother. Can you Can you tell me who that might be? Kirby, nothing would give me more pleasure, and I had a feeling you were going to respond in the, the affirmative. So I have great news for you, Kirby, because you want me to tell you. I have news for you and all our distributor friends out there, because Bell Promo not only makes promises, but they deliver on them. Check this out, Kirby. Lowest minimums in the industry. That would be our good pals over at Bell Promo. Simplified pricing? Once again, Bell Promo. Deepest inventory? <laughs> you guessed it. Bell Promo. How about five star in A plus service? You know that's Bell Promo. Now, Kirby, can you see why industry distributors are metaphorically running to use Bell Promo at every possible turn? Yeah, absolutely. And I think that um, you know, many I as as many people have, you have your suppliers, you have your your suppliers you don't use. For many years, we we weren't on the Bell Promo train, and yeah. uh, uh, really last year we had really ramped that up. Uh, honestly based on us getting to know the folks out on the promocations tour. And we right. really ramped up our business and they have become one of our, they're on our top, like our preferred level of suppliers. We love doing business with them. That's awesome. As usual, Curry, I couldn't have said it better myself. However, I'm going to add something else here that I don't think people really realize is the quality. Now I'm holding and I'm actually drinking out of this today. My 40 ounce Alps stainless steel travel mug with a handle. It's part number ATM387. I'm telling you that personally, I love this thing. It's amazing. It holds my ice water all day long, nice and cold. I love that. Um, and the, the, imprint, the imprint is fantastic. You can see that laser etching right there for the brand of eight logo and all the prices as low as $8.89 on a C. Wow. So next time someone asks you whether you can imprint something, feel confident in answering, yeah, you can bell promo that as you head over to bellpromo.com. All right, Kirby. So we are here at the annual powerhouse women of promo uh, pod annual powerhouse women of promo podcast as bill tried to get ahead of himself a little bit and i speak yeah. of myself in the third person <laughs> that's my favorite uh kirby and i started this about five years ago as we really recognized that there were some great women not only doing 
fabulous things in our industry, but they weren't being recognized for it. Yeah. And so this being March annual uh, International Women's Month, we always have this podcast come out in March, sometimes in the beginning of March, sometimes it's in the middle, and sometimes it's the, at the end of March as it is this year. But hey, our podcast, we put it out when we want to. Um, we have specific categories, and we're going to do something different this time. Usually we pick a kind of a, a winner and a runner up in each category. So there's four women we get to talk about. Sometimes there's overlap. This year we're going to do something different. There's no winner and no runner up. It's just we pick two people in that category who we feel uh, merit some discussion. So it's there's no winners. There's no losers. Everybody on here is awesome. I can tell you that. I'm, and, and the best part is, Kirby and I never know who we're going to bring up. So there's always a few uh, surprises and curveballs. And this is going to be the only thing we talk about on today's podcast. So you're going to have to hold off for uh, other uh, promo conversations next week. So uh, Kirby, are you ready to roll here? I am ready to roll. And, and again, this one, what is, this one actually often goes long. We'll see how it goes. But one of the things I will tell you is there'll be plenty to discuss. And I, I love it because it's shouting out some of the best work in the industry. So cool stuff. 100%. So we're going to start with distributor woman to watch Kirby. Now, uh, I'll I'll share my two, and then okay. why don't you share your two, if that's okay, and then we'll Sounds alternate good. that way. Sounds good. So the first distributor woman to watch I came up with is Lori Bauer, who is now CEO of I Promote You. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Lori's had a long and illustrious career in promo, a lot of it associated with uh, the Koozie Group. Mm -hmm. um, but she took over for Ross Silverstein when he retired as CEO of I Promote You. She's also on the board, and I know Lori a little bit. I've worked with her on a couple committees at PPAI. Absolutely one of the brightest lights in our industry. And so I, I think she's absolutely someone to watch for someone uh, as young as she is to taking uh, taking helm of a, a large distributor like uh, distribution like that. Truly uh, something amazing, something I'm 100% I'm going to be watching. That's a good one. I love that one. I love that one. Do you want me to go next it, or you go on another one? Yeah, why don't you go ahead next? We'll alternate. Okay. Why not? I think okay, that so, makes sense. Yeah, it sounds good. All right. So the one that I, 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 as soon as you sent me the list, and again, we've talked mm -hmm. about this before, Bill sends me the list and kind of gets me prepped. Um, the first person that popped into my head, you know, and that's how we do this that's a lot of times, be. right? Oh, yeah. And so the first person that popped into my head was Sarah Whitaker. Sarah Whitaker is from oh, Williams wow. Advertising down in Kentucky. We met mm -hmm. through Common Skew events, sitting at tables, kind of discussing. Actually, Sarah reached out to me recently and was just like, hey, I'm struggling with this. And let's, let's, we kind of talked through, I think we have similar kind of philosophies, similar agencies. Uh, similar small community kind of thing. And so she's one of those people who I just, every time she talks, I, t I tend to listen. I love what she's doing on social media. So Sarah Whitaker is the first person that popped into my head on this one. I love that. I know Sarah very little bit. She was actually on my flight uh, going to Las Vegas this year for PPI cool. Expo. So uh, just a terrific person. Great one. The one I'm going to mention next is Erin Riley, who is the CEO of Pop Promos. Mm. Uh, I know her a very little bit, but what little I do know, she's incredibly, incredibly bright. She advocates transparency, which I think is such a key to any sort of successful organization. And she's also on the PPAI board. I love the mix that's on the PPAI board right now. We have so many diverse uh, perspectives and so much diversity in terms of men and women, small distributorships, large distributorships, small suppliers, large suppliers. So pop promos. When you record a podcast every week for over 400 weeks, you're bound to make a mistake or two, and today I sure did. It's our annual Powerhouse Women of Promo podcast, and in our first category of distributor women to watch, I mentioned Aaron Riley of Pop Promos. Well, even I know Pop Promos is a supplier company, and Aaron, uh, while she is absolutely someone to watch, is not a distributor. So I want to apologize to Aaron for getting her in the wrong category. And I'd like to rectify who I meant to put in that category, which is one Alicia Rhodes from Action Plus Ideas. If you're not familiar with Alicia, you should be. She is on the marketing committee at the Premier Group, uh, the, the uh, buying group that Action Plus Ideas is part of, based in North Carolina. And she is president of that organization and has done a fantastic job of shepherding them through a back office change from the system they were 
previously using to common SKU, and has also during that process not only not lost customers but grown their largest customer to be incredibly vibrant and uh, profitable for the organization. So my other distributor woman to watch is Alicia Rhodes, president of Action Plus Ideas. Aaron Riley from Pop Promos is absolutely a supplier woman to watch. So I apologize for everybody for, well being human and making a mistake. Hope everybody enjoyed the podcast this week. Love it. That's a good one. Mine was uh, Taylor Borst. I, I find she's one of those people who I love what I've seen from her. She's with American Solutions for Business. If you don't know, mm -hmm. you should know. She's one of those people who's perennially on the uh, online 18 because of the work she does in social media. But one of the things I love about Taylor is how I've you know seen her her career evolve right through yeah. ASB and taking on more on social media now doing marketing and, and sort of the events and all this stuff. And so every time I have interactions with her, I feel good about ASB and I feel good about our industry. So Taylor Borst would be mine. Uh, I, I, if Taylor Borst isn't somewhere on both of our lists, <laughs> we shouldn't even be doing this list. Taylor is an incredible, incredibly bright human being. I think I've said bright for everybody right now, but that, that is kind of something I see. Yeah. Uh, there's an incredible, uh, uh, brightness there. And she is really unique, you know, coming from a small town where she does come from in, in, uh, Glenwood, uh, Minnesota, she's incredibly worldly. And mm -hmm. I think that's not an easy thing to do, even though the world is shrinking and you have the internet to help you out. I think she brings a great perspective. I love that Kirby. All right, let's go to supplier woman to watch. Why don't you kick this one off Kirby? Cool. All right. Supplier woman to watch. Mine uh, is, a, it, it, to me, it's Stacy Stahl is the first person that popped okay. from Sweeter Cards. So uh, if you were at Expo this year, you saw that she was the one who won the the pitch uh, for her Sweeter Cards. If you don't know much about Sweeter Cards, it's a super interesting woman-owned business. They work with people with DD. And she is, she's just got a kind heart. I love her product and how she does things. Um, actually, one of the reasons it popped in my head, I actually brought this up on another podcast, but her dealing with someone who was a hater um, where they were really yeah. mean to her and she just kind of shared the comments, yeah. took out their name and then shared her response, which right. she was so much more gracious than I would have been in that moment. Um, and so uh, it, it, she probably would have popped to my head anyway, but because of all of those things together, she was the first person I thought of. I think the question I have is how many podcasts are you on? No, uh, <laughs> that's a great choice. That's a fantastic choice. And in, in, uh, she is really cool what she's yep. doing. And yep. I loved again, how she handled this. I look, I'm not for everybody. So that's fine. Stop yeah. getting in my grill. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to buy from me. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, my first choice is Hillary Morris from taco oh, bout pins. Yes. Love it. Um, if you don't know Hillary Morris, Comes from a great pedigree. Uh, Harvey Mackler is her dad. Mm -hmm. She has started her own pin company right here in the industry called Taco Bout Pins. It's yeah. Nacho Average Pin Company. I love it. Uh, she is incredibly energetic and yes. she is wildly creative. If you saw me in Vegas this year and I happened to hand you a pin uh, because I did some really cool brand of eight pins. In fact, I have one right here just by uh, holding it up. She designed that, did a great job. Her company does some really cool things, not just with pins, but with packaging and give back. So uh, Hillary Morris is definitely my supplier woman to watch one of them anyway. Love that. Love that one. That's a great call. Uh, my next one is Samantha Cates. I, 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 Samantha Cates is, I think, one of those leaders. It, it, if it's possible on a list like this, I think she's undersold in her value. She is, um, I don't know if it's quietly or loudly, building a dream team of people um, there at Spectre and Co. I love what Spectre's doing, and I, I sort of love her philosophy, and I just think she's a really cool person. And so every time I feel like I get to interact with her, I feel like I end up smarter. So Samantha Cates is the, my next one. Yeah, so great, great choice. Not much I can really add there because my next choice is the combination of Samantha Case, Case and Ashley Coletti. Uh, from, <laughs> so funny because my uh, next Spectre. next person in case we overlapped was Ashley Coletti. <laughs> there you go. Uh, the team they are building at Spectre yeah. is nuts. Yeah. Absolutely nuts in a good way nuts. Yeah. It's crazy go nuts. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, um, Sam is kind of quietly under the radar. She works extremely, extremely hard. So does Ashley. I don't want to say that Ashley doesn't, they both work incredibly hard. And so I kind of had a tie there. I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, yeah. I, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, separate the two, but you did. Yeah, that was good. That's good. That's a... awesome. All right, cool. All right. Uh, so Kirby, let's... let me, let me quick question here. Okay. Cause you don't have any more supplier women to watch. Do you? No, are not, you not on this okay. list? Yeah. You know, Kirby. 
when I think of vibrant color, you know, the kind of color that turns heads, I think of one thing and one thing only. You know what that is, Kirby? What's that? Bill? That's sublimation. That is yes. sublimation. That's why I love what our good friends at the Kanata Group are doing with this edge-to-edge -edge process. It's not just about towels and blankets. Of course, that's going to be part of the mix if Kanata is involved, but it's also about pillows and scarves, duffel bags, aprons, hot pad holders, and a bunch of home accessories just waiting to be sublimated with your client's brand. Head over to the KanataGroup.com to see all the sublimation options today. All right, Kirby, let's talk about a service provider woman to watch. I'll kick this one off if Perfect. that's all right. Yep. And I'm going to go with Jamie Watson at Certified Ooh, Marketing that's a Consultants. good one. That's a good so, one. If you don't, you're damn yeah. right. It's a good one. <laughs> well, uh, I'm frustrated. I didn't think of Jamie. That's a great one. Yeah. That's so really Jamie, Jamie runs a certified marketing consultants. If you don't know what they do in the industry, they provide a service helping uh, companies either buy or sell their, buy a business or sell their business. They also do valuations. And she speaks a lot at ASI shows. And last year in Chicago, her and I uh, spoke near each other. Uh, and uh, I, or I spoke it before or after, I can't remember which. And just listening to her and the way her brain works, it's mathematical, it's analytical, it's Smart. stuff I'm, yeah, generally I'm, I struggle with. It's not that I can't do it. It just doesn't come naturally to me. And to see someone who is so effervescent like that and it comes so naturally to, uh, it's pretty amazing. If I were buying a company or selling a company, I'd absolutely have yes. Jamie Watson uh, on that, uh, leading that team. So Jamie 100%. Watson, Certified Marketing Survivor survivor service provider woman to watch <laughs> she also would probably do well in survive yeah she probably I, would yeah Okay, mine is Kate Maswitch. Kate from Common Skew. You know, I think that you know, I joke every year, and I'll, I'll mm -hmm. mention Catherine at some point, but, you know, uh, you talk about dream teams, right? When, when yeah. you talk about, I think, you know, Bobby gets, Bobby Lehu gets credit, and Mark gets credit, and Catherine gets credit, and David Schwartz, like, but I think Kate is the one that's, you know, especially when I get to interact, a lot of times it's at events, and I know Kate is driving the bus on so much of what goes on at the Common Skew events and marketing and all that stuff, and so Kate is one of the folks that I just think just kill it. Kate is a marketing silent assassin. She yes. is really, really good at what she does. Yep. And I will tell you, she's one of the nicest people you ever want to meet, as most people from Canada are, if you don't know. <laughs> she um, but nice. she's she's fabulous. Okay, I cheated again. I came up with two, um, two people. Uh, Carrie Boderman from ASI and okay. Jill Begun from PPA. Oh, yes. Now, Carrie Boderman is the education director over at ASI, and her counterpart at PPAI is Jill Begun. She's a professional development manager. I have been speaking at both events for years, both ASI show events and uh, PPAI Expo. And I will tell you, both of them do such a phenomenal job of not only creating the content and getting the schedule down. That's a very difficult thing to do to balance right. all those speakers. And sometimes there are egos involved, as we both know, Kirby. Um, in, in not you necessarily. I wasn't po I'm not pointing at anybody. Um, but to not only wrangle that, but also making sure that speakers feel taken care of, yeah. making sure everything is done correctly, making sure the AV is set up, making sure the room is right. I will tell you it is a tireless job. It is yeah. a very much for the most part thankless job. And both Carrie Boderman and Jill Begun do such a great job yeah. uh, for ASI and PPAI respectively. To me, they are service provider women to watch. Yeah, I love that. And to be honest with you, you were you were you were so kind because you you left out the part where wrangling and hurting the speakers and making yeah. sure they've got their deadlines met and they that they're actually where they're supposed to be because we're all yeah. busy and all that sort of thing. And yeah. so they do that, that they do do a good job. Um, okay, so my my uh, other one is mm -hmm. Lori Moore. We talk about how important the content of our industry is. Promo Corner is one of the main hubs of content in our industry, and Lori is heading up that team, a team of actually quite a few women um, over at Promo Corner. Uh, last year, I mentioned Hallie is one of the, the kind of up-and-comers, uh, but Lori is her her mom. And so Lori and the team at Promo Corner do a great job. Obviously, I do a lot of content for Promo Corner, so I'm a fan, sure. uh, but Lori's doing a good job over there. I, can't, I have nothing to say there other yeah. than I agree with you. I think that's a tremendous choice, Lori yep. Moore over at Promo Corner. All right, let's go Woman on the Rise. Okay. Uh, now, I'm going to kick us off here, Kirby. Women on the Rise. Now, generally, we look at this as, you know, 
kind of younger, up and coming, mm -hmm. um, and, and things like that. So tell tell us who you got there. So this is where I there's going to begin to be overlap because I just like I I can't not mention Hillary Morris here. This mm -hmm. was this was like the the first like when I was looking at this her like you said, she has a pedigree. She's been in the industry, but with her starting her new talk about pins, I felt like this was a, yeah. a kind of an on the rise company an on the rise person. Yeah. And so Hillary was uh, the first person that popped in my head there. I will tell you that Hillary will listen to this podcast on Friday <laughs> and her head is going to explode <laughs> uh, in a good with, way with plenty um, of energy. Yeah, absolutely. with plenty of yeah. energy. So I love that choice. My first one is Chelsea Williams from Spark Branded Solutions. Now, okay. I got to know Chelsea a little bit. She is a PPAI rising star. She's located here in Nashville. And she actually sat on the panel with me at uh, the uh, networking lunch during PPI Expo this year. But I got a chance to chat with her yeah. uh, before the uh, before the event, and just seeing her vision of things, understanding what her perspective is, given her background with e-promos and things like that, and what she sees for her own company, Spark Branded Solutions here in Nashville. She's a very impressive uh, young lady. She's actually coming on the third promo cruise as a guest of uh, Carl Ziegler and Ruckus. Nice. Um, so I'm getting for I'm looking forward to getting to know her a little bit more. So Chelsea Williams from Spark Branded Solution. Love it. Okay, cool. Um, my uh, next one, Women on the Rise, is Katie Kaler uh, from ASB. So Katie mm -hmm. was on the Online 18 last year. Um, and so I got to know her because I reached out, we, I interviewed her. And then actually, it was really cool because uh, Katie and her uh, dad, Mike, and mm -hmm. I connected and Jade and my daughter. So the, Katie and Mike worked together, right? In a in a distributorship. Mm -hmm. And then Jade mm -hmm. and I were out there together. So we sort of connected and sort mm -hmm. of had kindred spirits. And so Katie does yeah. a great job with social media and really getting to know the industry. And, and she w tells the story of getting in this industry right in the middle of COVID. And so right. those folks who, it was a totally different industry. It was a weird time sure. to jump in. And so I think that that uh, kind of helped shape her. Yeah. And so Katie's one of those people who really impresses me. Excellent. So my net, my final choice on this category for women on the rise, someone who's been in the industry actually quite a bit of time and has a ton of experience, but I think what she's doing now is really pretty interesting. And it's Jill Albers at mm. BDNA. Yeah. So she's a senior director of business development over there. Now, before that, she was at BAMCO. Mm -hmm. um, she is so sharp and yeah. so smart. Um, you know, I think her being part of BDNA is going to absolutely elevate that organization. You know, BDNA is a huge distributorship, but they kind of fly under the radar. Yeah. They kind of, you know, a lot of people don't, when they think of the large distributors in our industry, they don't think of BDNA. What I'll tell you what, they are a true advertising agency and having someone like Jill Albers as part of that is absolutely a thousand percent going to elevate that. So I think she's, she's definitely on the rise. I love definitely. it. Yeah, that's a good one. She's She and I were uh, to, connected through uh, Rising Stars at one point. And mm -hmm. so we got to know each other through there. And so she's, she's very, very sharp. I agree. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Let's go to some of the more, these are, these are some great categories. I, I love all these categories. Yeah. This is the Janelle Nevins Memorial Women Trailblazer. And let me explain this one. Janelle Nevins, if you didn't have the pleasure of knowing her, you should at least know of her. She was absolutely a trailblazer in this industry in the seventies, eighties, and nineties when this industry was really uh, male focused. She yeah. uh, forged a place for women in this industry and she is the one who landed Coca-Cola as an account. And she held that account until she unfortunately passed away, uh, well, I think almost 10 years now, uh, from cancer. Just a tremendous lady. I had the good fortune of working with Janelle for a little bit back in my days at Summit Marketing Group. And just a tremendous woman. So this kind of category is focused on women who are doing things that nobody else has done. Men, women, doesn't matter, but they're doing things to that are forging a new path where there wasn't one before. And my first women trailblazer has got to be Susan Lewandowski from Bell Promo. Love it. Um, she's the managing director there. What she has done in changing the narrative, yeah, they're the sponsor of the podcast today, but I'd say this whether they were or weren't. 100%. What she has done there to change the narrative of Bell Promo uh, from a, a company a lot of people uh, were very uncomfortable with right. uh, for, for really no reason. But there was a narrative out there and she 
focused and changed that. Her working in, in uh, concert with Alan Tabaski, and then she built a great team. Tom Clauser, uh, Michelle DeMeo just joined. A lot of great people there. And that is because Susan's vision. She, I don't know anybody else who could have gone in there and changed that narrative as quickly or successfully as Susan Lewandowski. So yeah, she is absolutely a trailblazer in this industry. Uh, zero argument on that, Susan. You, you will hear her name here in just a little bit. So I, 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 I agree a million percent um, on Susan, and it's been a pleasure to get to know her. It's so funny, yeah. Bill, how many of the folks on here I've gotten to know either through us speaking uh, content, yeah. but also through the Promocations Cruise, and that's where yeah. I met Susan. So that's really 100%. cool. I agree. Okay. Uh, my, my first one that popped in my head is JQ, Jenna Quaranta. Okay. Um, and so um, if you don't know JQ, what uh, the sort of the reason I thought of this is that she has created a sales training platform and that's sort of her sale. That's her lead, right? That's her, her mm -hmm. way to go into the industry of creating a sales uh, training platform. And she has a background in law enforcement and self-defense and all this other stuff. And so she has created this sort of value add as opposed to leading with, Hey, Hey, you know, here's the latest pen. She, she's more of like, hey, I want to train uh, a better industry of salespeople so that we can elevate the industry. And so I love what she's doing there. And so that's JQ came to mind there. It's a great, great choice. There's few people I I can't think of anybody that I know of that is so is as intense as right. JQ. And I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean that in right. a positive way. She's extraordinarily focused. She knows what she wants and she goes and gets it. And I love that. Great choice. My next uh, woman trailblazer, Lisa Bibb. She mm. is the executive director of VAPA and Lisa. the and and the uh, uh, promotional products professionals page on Facebook. Founder. Now she is bad ass. If you don't know her, she is badass. <laughs> That's so cool. Um, she's no nonsense, and she finds a need and fills it. She started that page with a couple other people. I don't know, eight, nine years ago, maybe even longer, maybe since 2012. And that, I think that's when they started it. That sounds um, right. I, I guess I, I, you know, this is kind of me not doing my research. Anyway, yeah. doesn't matter. Built to over, you know, over, you know, five or, or 10,000, uh, maybe even yeah. 12,000 professionals at this point. Yep. She is absolutely a force of nature. And she, again, created something from nothing. Yes. And that's something I always, always respect because there's a lot of people that talk about doing stuff. There are way too few doers in in not only our industry, just on the planet. Agreed. Lisa Bibb, a thousand percent a doer and absolutely a trailblazer. And also just super fun. Love her to death. She is. I, she's I agree, she's I a good time. Yeah. She's a good time. Okay. My uh, second choice in this is mm -hmm. Johanna Gottlieb. And the reason, Everyone. of course, Johanna, I think most people in our industry or many people in our industry know who Johanna is. She's been in the industry for many years. Um, mm -hmm. But it's interesting to me because she came up through um oh the the name is escaping me with Larry Cohen. Um oh, oh Axis. Axis promotions. Oh, Axis then promotions, yeah, yeah, sorry. Then she was with Halo and now she's mm -hmm. left there and gone to Genumark and is sort of starting mm -hmm. over. So at a place in her career where she's had you know multi millions of dollars in sales, leaving that 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 um that safety net, if it were, or the client base to recreate a big distributor, but they are all based in Canada to come to the United States and recreate right. that here, I think takes yeah. a level of courage that most of us just frankly don't have and have the confidence and the chutzpah to do that, man, I, Joe's awesome. I can't, can't, why would I, why would I even think about disagreeing with that, Kirby? Um, you should what she's doing, what she's doing at Genumark and building that team. You know, one of the themes you, you can kind of extrapolate here is, and we talked about this, I think on a podcast two, three weeks ago, mm -hmm. there are companies that are intentionally building teams yeah. and it's pretty interesting to watch. And Genumark is certainly one of them. Joe's a big reason for that. All right, Kirby, let's go to the T Hamilton Memorial Creative Woman Award. Now, if you didn't know T, it's a shame. T was one of the founding chefs at Promo Kitchen, and she was also a, a creative force of nature in this industry. Yeah. If you remember the original Skewbot, that's something T created uh, in terms of the graphic, not, not necessarily the, the idea, yeah. but she created the, the visual that went along with it for years and years and years. Uh, unfortunately, she passed away from cancer, I believe, in 2020. So it's been four years now, maybe five. Uh, a close friend 
uh, yeah. too. I know a close friend of yours as well. And so we use this award to recognize women who are creative, who yeah. think of things a little differently and aren't afraid to express those things. So Kirby, why don't you lead us off with the first T. Hamilton Memorial Creative Woman Award? So it's funny. I actually made an audible and changed this as we were talking. So I actually, okay. this is, I this it. is, this is something I changed while we've done this podcast. And the name that kept popping into my head is Denise Tashiro. Denise Tashiro, you, like, I don't know that she's a graphic artist or a video person, but you, when you think about creativity, I believe it is about creating something that doesn't exist. And Denise, who uh, heads up Fairware with her partner, and like they created a space where they do, they, they, they focus on sustainability and eco-friendly, and they did it in a time when no one else was doing it. And now yeah, through sure. that, she's helping change, I think, the narrative in our entire industry around this. She certainly educated me because it's not not been my area of expertise. So I, that's the sort of the lens in which I'm looking through this. And I think Denise yeah. Tashro has created a movement that still needs building, but didn't sure. exist before her. Um, so that's yeah. that's why I go with Denise. So uh, when I did this one, I actually just t had no music on, no input, no stimulus, and just closed my eyes and thought, and the first person who popped into my mind was Renya Nelson of Brand mm, Aid. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, Renya, I've known uh, through met her through Common Skew, uh, gosh, probably 10 years ago now. Mm -hmm. uh, and she was really just starting Brand Aid out. And she is insanely creative. If you don't know Renya, and she completely thinks about art industry, about merchandising, and about how to get that merchandise into people's hands differently than anyone I've ever run across in this entire industry. So, uh, I can't think of anyone more suited for this award than Randy Nelson. Love it. That's a really good one. Love that. Yep. Um, Next one. Next one is Brittany Fraze for me. Mm -hmm. uh, Brittany is another, she's creating a team. She's built a sort of a brand. I from, I think you know Brittany better than I know Brittany, but I've gotten to know her through you. And every time I have an interaction with her, I'm impressed. Every time like I, I, I see the marketing they put out. I see a lot of what they do. And uh, she's one of those people who I, 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 I could put her in a bunch of different one of these categories. Sure. And so Brittany was one of the ones that I thought, okay, yeah, she is creative in that way. I think last year I had Brittany as woman I'd hire to run yes. my company, yes. um, which we'll get to here in a few minutes. Um, her mind moves faster than just about anybody I know. Yeah. And I mean that in the best possible sense. I mean, she is laser, laser quick. Great choice. All right. My last one here is uh, Melissa McCauley from Numo. Mm. Now, she will yeah. never hear this because she doesn't like this podcast or you or me, <laughs> but that still doesn't change the fact that um, she is wildly creative. And what she does at Numo, uh, very few people do. I mean, it, it, it might be the most retail-inspired supplier in our industry. I'm joking about her not liking us. She got mad yeah. at us one time because uh, we didn't like a april fool's joke i did but yeah. that's a side point i think she's phenomenal in terms of her creativity i think what they do at numo is is game changing if you really watch what they're doing and yeah. it, it's always new and unique so melissa mccauley from numo yeah well and it's funny because uh the thing that we didn't necessarily like it was an april fool's joke but it was yeah. wildly creative and it's so incredibly it executed was. that it threw the entire industry for a loop we bought so, it yeah so so even in that moment it's like wow that's really really cool okay all right cool. so we have a new category this year of course we surprise do. surprise surprise because because yeah. you know why we freaking wanted to people. <laughs> um it is something called the social media woman of distinction category um yeah, sure. i think that's self-explanatory i don't think we need to really explain it uh i think i'm going first i'm okay. gonna go with one meg erber nice meg is now the uh director of business development i think it pro forma i can't remember mm -hmm. her exact title. she just left sns activewear on the supplier side to go to pro forma on the distributor side and her online persona that she has created mm -hmm. uh it got her involved in the uh, industry insiders podcast which is now the branding banter podcast with Stephen mcfadden and jeff franklin yep and that continued to build her online profile and she is active on just about every platform she not only likes things she actually engages she writes things on people's posts yep. 
I think she's built an incredible persona for herself. And I, I think in no small part that paid a, played a, a, a quite a big role in her landing the job at Proforma. So yeah. Meg Erber, our first social media woman of distinction. Yeah, I love that one. That's a really good one. Uh, good choice. Um, my the person that popped in first was Brittany Godsey from Gold Bond. Mm -hmm. um, I think, you know, Brittany is is sort of laser focused in on the platforms that she is in on. But man, when the ones she does, and Instagram being one of them, that she is just, she just kills it. Like she does a great job of sort of showing behind the scenes stuff, showing fun stuff, she's highlighting her team. Like, I think they do a great job of doing content over Gold Bond. And Brittany, I think, leads the way on that one. Yeah, Brittany does a great job. She's really focused on Instagram. That's really where yep. I see her the most. Yep. And she does a great job. Good good choice there. My final one, shockingly enough, Taylor Borst from American Solutions for yes. Business. And I, my, my little note I wrote to myself is, how the hell could you have this category without Taylor Borst? Yeah, that's so I, I think we talked about her a little bit earlier. Again, she has taken the brand of American Solutions for Business and completely elevated it through the lens of social media. Um, and she should feel very proud of that. So Taylor Borst, American Solutions for Business. Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, I, so I took a little bit of a different caveat on this one because we've yep. done a lot of those folks, Taylor Borst, obviously, yep. uh, Charity Gibson, um, some of those, some of those folks that have led the way on, on those. So I went with Natasha Rawls. So Natasha Rawls is on the distributor side. Uh, she is very consistent in her, she, she was kind of an early adopter on TikTok. She does across different platforms, but at least the way I see her is doing unboxings. And I think it's actually a really, really brilliant use of content yeah. because I get these boxes and like I am missing opportunities <laughs> to just do videos around unboxings. And she does that great. And it allows to create consistency for her content <clears throat> and then kind of tying her brand to branded merch. Merch. So she's one of yeah. those people who, when I see her on LinkedIn or all those other things, I'm always like, oh man, she's doing it right. Uh, I couldn't agree more. I, I see her unboxing. She does a great job with it. I, I you know, I wish I could be that uh, uh, quick in, in um, yeah. making videos like that. It takes me a long time to do it. Yeah, she does. Good so I, I think she's great. You know, I think I missed something. I think we decided to do this category last year, um, the social media woman of distinction. And I think we decided to name it the uh, uh, Charity Gibson Emeritus uh, <laughs> right. uh, woman, uh, social media woman of distinction because Charity has done such a great job. So yep. we're going to call it that the Charity Gibson social media <laughs> woman of distinction. Let's name it after her I that, like it. I, because honestly, that's appropriate. It's a way to also honor the great things Charity has done on social media. Uh, she's been on this list many times as a no trailblazer argument. and also yep. some the media. So we're going to change that up. All right, last category. And this is the one I think is real interesting. This is the one that requires the most thought. Um, mm -hmm. It is the woman you'd hire to run your company. Kirby, why don't you start us off with this? So uh, you tease me every year because every year I put Catherine Graham on this list. <laughs> and so you've teased me enough. Actually, you jo you joked about calling it the Catherine Graham Award. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not going to have Catherine on this year. I've tried to go a little different than I've done in the past. Um, so for me, and, and I'll be honest with you, Bill, what's interesting is this was actually the hardest for me to narrow down. Yeah. So I actually Ooh. had like six names and I put them nice. in different places because I'm like, oh, there's actually a bunch of people on this list that I would yeah. be honored to have run my company. But where I landed first was Susan Lewandowski. That was the first name yeah. that popped into my head when I thought of this particular distinction, because I was like, I watched what she did um, at Bell Promo and how it was, mm. you know, simple in its idea, but simple is different than sure. easy. And then took yes. that idea and then executed on it in a way that really was game changing, as you said. And, and so, yeah. and then was willing to lean into it and go, this is what we're all about in a world where everybody wants to chase the new shiny thing. And mm -hmm. I am the person, like I am that person, right? So right. having someone who would go, no, this is what we're doing. And this is how we're going to do it would be good for our organization. So Susan Lewandowski from Back Promo. I, I love that. Uh, I think she would do a great job running your company. Yeah. I don't know what she what you do after she shit canned you because she would. <laughs> she would fire your ass in a hot second. And then Actually, let's be, be clear. <laughs> let's be clear. All these women we're about to mention would probably fire Kirby and I as yep. the first order of business. Yeah, and they would uh, not be my wrong. first person <laughs> that I thought of was uh, uh, Kara Keister yes. from Social Good Promotions. Kara Keister, uh, she is incredibly 
smart. She is now kind of the sole proprietor of Social Good Promotions. Started that with Roger Burnett, and uh, you know bought Roger out. Roger's kind of doing some different things now. I don't think he's really looking to be outside the industry, which right. is always weird to say. I consider Roger to be such part of the promotional products industry. Right. Uh, that's something we should probably talk about another podcast. But this is about Kara Keister. Kara has a real vision for what she wants to do at Social Good Promotion. She's hired somebody. Um, she's direct. She's smart. And she's kind. And that's yeah. a pretty rare combination in a leader, direct, smart, and kind. And that's what I think of when I think of Kara Keister. So I would hire her in a hot second to run Brand of Eight. And then I'm sure she would hand me my pink slip. Yeah. it's. I'm so glad you mentioned Kara because Kara was my person last year and i don't have her on my list this year and i it's been, bother, it's been bothering me all day <laughs> so i'm so glad you mentioned her okay so i, I went a little bit outside because i was like i literally yeah. went through and i made a list of like a hundred names and i was trying to fill in uh where i felt like it was appropriate and this is outside of mm -hmm. my um sort of comfort zone for this one um and my final name on my list is amanda clay so from uh Clay Walker Promotions. She uh, she's built a great team over there. I I've I've had a few great interactions with her. And one of the things I really liked about her is at one point, uh, you and I were doing a piece of content. I actually don't even remember what it mm -hmm. was, um, but she and I got hopped on a call because she wanted to sort of question me, not yeah. in a, a a way that was jerk. She was like, I want to learn yeah. more and dig in and and maybe push back a little bit on what I was saying. And it was a great conversation. And I think. Again, in the idea of getting somebody in your organization who could challenge your norms and challenge yeah. the way we've always done things, obviously she's building a great business for herself. Um, but if I were looking to do something like that, I'd want somebody like that. So Amanda Clay. Yeah, I love that. And the reason I'm kind of smirking a little bit if you're watching on video is because the next person I'm going to uh, talk about who I want to run my company, I had that same thought. Someone who's willing to challenge the status quo, willing to do uh, the things that are that, that need to be done. And that's Ellen Tucker from PPAI, mm. who is the VP of Revenue and Expositions. Uh, you talk about someone who knows how to get shit done. It is <laughs> Ellen Tucker. And she is a bulldog. And again, I mean that in the most positive sense of that term. She yep. gets her teeth into something. It'll get fixed. It'll get done. And she'll move on to the next thing. She's incredibly efficient. She's extremely bright. She's very driven. I'd hire her in a second to run the company. And again, I would get my pink slip probably as a first order of business. So Ellen Tucker from PPAI. And I think that does our list. Are, are we so done? Awesome. That is it. That is it. That is the list. Look at We had all these things here. All good stuff. Kirby, I honestly, it really is my favorite uh, podcast to do of the year because there's not anything negative. There's not a lot of joking going around. It really is about recognizing the incredible women in our industry who are doing equally incredible things. Yep. I know it's a lot of work for both of us, but I appreciate you putting that work in. Yeah. Well, and again, I think the other thing I would say is I agree with you. I think it's really cool to put it together, but it's also like that there were, you can't see this, but over on my sheet, there's a bunch of people that didn't necessarily make it that maybe made it in the past or whatever, man, there's, there's more people doing great work. Um, yeah, so uh, just know, just know that uh, you're appreciated. So thank you so much. For 100%, 100%. Yeah. 100%. And, and, and I don't know how you approach it. Maybe there's something we can talk about real quickly. I really did. I didn't look at any of the list, but I've thought, okay, I think we've named that person before. So they were intentionally almost left off right. because yes. unless, unless, okay, it's been a dramatic increase in something or a dramatic change in something uh, because it's really an opportunity to recognize maybe some people who don't get the recognition that yeah. they deserve. So yep. well, yeah, that, good stuff. Hey, Kirby, last thing here. I, I know, you know, we talk about people who make, uh, we talked about earlier about suppliers, maybe make some promises, not delivering on those promises, but that doesn't happen at Bell Promo. Probably yeah. because Sue and Lewandowski is there. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah. um, Bell Promo not only makes promises, but they deliver on them. Lowest minimums in the, in the industry. Simplified pricing. The deepest inventory in the industry. Five-star and A-plus service across the board. You know we're talking about Bell Promo. That's right. So next time you are with a client and they're thinking, they're, they ask you, you know, can, can we decorate that? In your mind, all you need to say is, yeah, we can Bell Promo that. And head over to bellpromo.com. And I guarantee you, you won't be sorry you did. Kirby, honestly, this really is a fun podcast to do. And I look forward to posting it on uh, Friday. 